welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the final release of Firefox 4.0. That's right, just came out earlier this week. I had a chance to try it out. I've been using the beta for a while, but it's good to compare against different versions of Firefox and to make sure that your add ons work. So when you go to upgrade to the latest release, it will double check to see which um, add ons are available, which ones you can upgrade to, and if there are any issues, you'll have to disable your current plugins. Hopefully not. Now, the next thing that I usually do is go to the Firefox website and see what's new. Okay, now there's a whole bunch of different things that they uh, highlight and show you online that you can see what's new. A few stood out for me, of course, right off the bat. But the first thing that I'm going to do is go to my website, of course. That's always what I want to check, make sure that all the different technologies and uh, types of coding that I have on my website work with the latest release of any browser. So my website came up very fast. All the different technologies from PHP, XML, JavaScript, Ajax, um, you name it. I you know, have a mix of stuff happening on my website. Everything seemed to carry forward, work, no problems. So obviously in Firefox 4.0, there's no issue with respect to technologies that I'm using. So, so far, so good there with respect to that. Now, when it comes to new features, the new key features in this release 4.0, HTML5, WebGL, modified user interface, so it's slicker, hardware acceleration so that the GPU does more of the work, new JavaScript engine as well, so a lot of new things. Another thing that's new is this menu at the top corner here on the left, that orange button. Instead of getting the uh, regular menu along the top, the add-ons, of course, have been improved, a slicker newer interface so you can get to the add-ons, find things quicker, so that's pretty nice. Now you can enable the old menu style if you wanted in Firefox 4.0, so don't worry, you don't have to stick with that orange button that I just showed you in the top corner, but the add-ons, the uh, new way of accessing that, definitely a huge improvement. I like it a lot, so uh, I'm glad they've uh, made it easier to find the stuff that you need, and of course uh, to check and see if there are any issues with them as well. So. That was very nice um, to try out and go in and and basically install a, a new plugin and, and I did that. I went in here and um, I downloaded the screen capture um, add-on that uh, was available online and added that. The add-ons actually appear along different areas of Firefox. So when you go and you install something, and I'll go ahead quickly here and um, like I said, install the uh, capture. Uh, the screen capture one. In this case, the screen capture icon that activates uh, that uh, add-on will appear on the right top right corner of the browser, but um, depending on other types of uh, add-ons that you might have, it might be on the top left or on the bottom right corner, okay? So depending on what you're, you're doing. Now, if we're talking about the bottom toolbar there, the bottom that I mentioned, there's one of the plugins that I have. You can see the little icon there. And if I click on that, it opens up what it does. And basically, it just shows me the source of the page that I'm looking at and any information about that page if I want to enable it and um, learn more about it. So that's um, basically the uh, Firebug um, add on. Okay. Now, on the top right corner, you can see the screen capture icon. So it added that one up there and that allows me to take some screen captures. Now, when it comes to performance comparison with Firefox 3.6.16, definitely performance increase there. If you want to compare this against other browsers, click on the link here to my previous video that I did very, very recently, which compares it to IE9 and other recent browsers as well. Okay, so you can see the uh, comparison on that. So go ahead and download Firefox if you're interested, if you're using 3.6, definitely great improvement. And I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.